Welcome to Tech Path. I'm your host, Paul Barron, and we love to break down all of the hot news coming out of CES 2021. This is a different angle, I think, with sustainability, because this is something that we are seeing a little bit of movement around all manufacturers, uh, especially at the the pace in which we are releasing devices into our you know, society. So I think there are some big moves coming from the technology industry to kind of address this issue. Dell is using bioplastic from tree waste in their design of the new Latitude 5000 series and the Precision 3560, which of course is some of their computers that they are pushing out. I like to see companies like Dell kind of jump behind this in terms of this, because typically a laptop today or even a computer is maybe a three-year device with exception of maybe some of the Apple devices, which I would say will last a little bit longer. But for the most part, you're looking at about three to four years of use. And with that, tech junk is a real problem. And being able to recycle that and utilize some technology to really kind of enhance the materials being used around this is a big, big thing. And I think it's great. Samsung also announced an update to its Galaxy upcy uh, uh, upcycling program, which is called Galaxy Upcycling at Home. And this program, of course, is a little different because it reimagines the life cycle of an older Galaxy phone and offers consumers options on how they might be able to repurpose their device. So this is kind of cool because there's a ton of new technology in terms of phones hitting the market. This is an opportunity for us to really get these devices because I feel like sometimes, and even I do this, I'm uh, unfortunately guilty of this, is you think you're going to give it to a school and then the school can't really use it. The school ends up dropping it in a drawer and it ends up in a trash bin and again, just kind of advances. So I think their repurposing model here on creating a variety of convenient IoT tools, this is kind of something that I think could be a thing for the future because we are going to need a lot of really kind of dumb tech to deal with IoT as we move forward. And, and of course, we have so much of this dumb tech sitting around that could handle uh, IoT tasks. It'll be kind of cool to see if this actually takes off. Samsung also announced that its eco packaging would expand to QLED and also their UHD TV monitors and audio products in 2021. Listen, we're making a ton of TVs out there. Samsung, Samsung of course, is the number one player uh, in the TV set and home living room. Uh, so I think as they continue to move their uh, footprint forward, especially around the devices, because they're getting bigger, even though they are getting lighter, thinner, and more efficient, uh, we still have the ability to basically have a limited life cycle on these, which is the biggest issue across technology as a whole. Also, Samsung's new solar cell remote control. This is made in part with recycled plastic and can be charged via solar indoor lighting. This I have to see. Reducing the battery waste will be a big factor here. And also, I think a home recycling solution will be a big key on how this all takes off. Uh, we're going to cover more tech news from CES 2021. Hopefully you're loving these series. We'll catch you soon right here on Tech Path. If you have a story or a tech idea, make sure and shoot us an email to eljefe at reverendnetworks.com.